Hello and welcome to ITNs. So up till now we have seen the various features about the network securities, right? Uh, we, we covered few sections about uh, DDoS and about the other components about the network security till now, isn't it? In this session we are going to talk about the network security groups. So uh, refresh your memory on uh, the concepts that we have learned till now. We have created, we started off, uh, we, we have created some virtual machines, isn't it, in the previous sessions. So, when we actually create a, v, uh, a virtual machine, the first thing that we do is we actually create a VNet, right? And then in that we create a subnet. And then we create a virtual machine in a subnet, right? Now, now, how do we create a filter or a rule by which we, we are going to allow a certain traffic both in and going out? Uh, I mean, it could be on a port, uh, a particular port, on a particular uh, protocol or on a pr particular priority, right? So we need to filter all those traffics coming either coming in or going out of the VNets, right? So that is something which is controlled by NSG. Now in this session we are going to look in details about the NSG, right? And we are going to look at what are the things that are required to configure NSG, all right? Great. So please do subscribe to the uh, to the channel and do click on the bell icon, all right? And I'll see you in the session. Thank you. Welcome back uh, ProITians. So let's get started with our discussion on network security groups, right? So network security groups is uh, used to filter network traffic to and from Azure resources in an Azure virtual network or in short we call as VNets. Alright, so our network security group contains security rules that allows or deny inbound network traffic to or outbound network traffic from several types of uh, network resources for for each rule you can specify source and destination port and protocol and we're going to look at uh, all those things that are required to configure the N NSG rule in, in the next slides a flow record um, is created for existing connections and the communication is allowed or denied based on the connection state of the flow record the flow record allows a network security group to be stateful if you specify an outbound security rule to any address over port 80 for example it's not necessary to specify an inbound security rule if communication is uh, already there right so you only need to specify an inbound security rule all right if communication is initiated externally all right the opposite is also true if inbound traffic is allowed over a port it's not necessary to specify an outbound security rule to specify or to respond to a traffic over the port all right now let's look at uh, the various uh, configuration parameters that are available with NSGs. So the first one is uh, name. Now, so name when you it actually uh, will take the field of a unique name within the network security groups, right? The next one is very important one that is the priority. It is a number between hundred and four zero nine six, and the rules are processed in priority order with. Um, with the lower number processed before higher number right yeah so so once a traffic matches the rule processing stops so as a result any rule that exists with the lower priorities that means uh, with the higher numbers then that particular attributes or rules are with the higher priorities are not processed right the next one is source or destination so it it would accept any or an individual IP address 
it could actually exp uh, ex it is actually going to accept classless interdomain routing blocks so CITR classless internet domain routing block yeah uh, I mean it, for example it could be like uh, uh, 10 dot uh, 0 dot uh, 0 dot 0 yeah slash 24 so that that is an example of your CIDR block right so it will also accept uh, service tax or application security group now if you specify an address for an Azure security uh, specify the public specify the private IP address assigned to the resource yeah the network security groups are processed after Azure translates a public IP address to a private IP address for inbound traffic and before Azure translates a public IP address uh, for outbound traffic specify a range a service tag or an application group enables you to create fewer security routes now the ability to specify multiple individual IP addresses and range is a in a rule is referred to as augmented security rules and we are going to look at the augmented security rules but I mean since we have touched base on this topic about the augmented security rules let me add augmented security rules can only be created in network security groups that are created through the resource manager deployment model you cannot specify multiple IP addresses and IP address range in and then in an energy created through the classic deployment model yeah so that is very important to note yeah next one is about the protocol so it the protocols that we are going to define when creating these rules are TCP UDP ICMP or any other protocol yeah or we can actually define any yeah in that rule yeah so direction whether the rule applies is to inbound or outbound traffic yeah port range uh, so you can specify any individual or a range of ports I mean for example you could uh, specify port 80 or um, something whichever is uh, you want to specify so specifying a range enables you to create fewer security rules yeah um, but it is actually a security risk I mean if you I mean you should consider this before uh, coming up with the plan whether you want to specify a specific port or a particular range yeah all right uh, next would be the action that is uh, either it's going to allow or deny and we are going to run through some tables in the in the next slide where we are going to look at what are the default inbound rules yeah so these are the default inbound rules now as you can see the priority is 65,000 yeah and the source is and the source is virtual network source ports are this one and I mean that is 0 to the um, 65535 uh, virtual network and destination port is the same and the protocol is any and access is allowed so this is going to allow all traffic uh, from a virtual network to a different virtual network um, I mean there's no it's like open yeah that is that is your 65,000 rule now the second one is 65,001 um, that is to allow about the load balancer so if you're going to place a load balancer then it is the same it is going to allow for all the uh, ports destination all the uh, destination IP address and the destination ports is going to be all the ports protocol any and access is allowed yeah so this is like your uh, inbound rule yeah for the load balancer now uh, there's one more which is 65,500 that is going to deny and for that the source is uh, any port is any destination any destination ports any protocol any and then that is denied so what happens is if a rule matches on this port on this priority right then it will not go ahead with this uh, this particular rule because this priority is more and this will be I mean this will this particular rule will be more effective yeah this will not be effective at all yeah now let's look at the default outbound rules so for default outbound rules uh, these are the default ones which uh, which we don't have to create 
it's automatically created uh, by uh, when we configure the energies those are uh, 65,000 virtual network source port is uh, any destination is virtual network destination port is any protocol is any and access is allowed so in the earlier slide we saw that was for the inbound all these things was like any and it was allowed and this one is outbound again for anything for like for everything it is going to allow right yeah so now let's look at the next one that is allow internet outbound yeah so it is going to allow the traffic going to internet and the source will be any ports any destination is internet destination port is any protocol any and then it is allowed right now the last one the deny all outbound yeah that is 65,500 and the source is any destination source port is any destination any those destination ports any protocol any and then uh, this will be denied yeah so this is these are the various rules that are created by default yeah great uh, now let's move to the next one where we are going to talk about something more about the default rules in energy so there are three more default rules which are created uh, which we can make use of well, first one is augmented so augmented security rules simplify security definitions for virtual networks allowing you to define larger and complex network security policies with fewer rules so you can actually combine multiple ports and multiple explicit IP addresses and ranges into a single easily understood security rule yeah so use augmented rules in the source destination and port fields to a, a rule so to simplify maintenance of your security rule definition you should actually consider combining augmented security rules with service tags or application security groups yeah, there are limits uh, to the number of addresses ranges and ports that you can specify in a rule yeah so you, that also you should actually consider now the next one is about the service tags a service tags represent a group of IP addresses prefixes from a given Azure service it helps to minimize the complexity of frequent updates on network security rules all right and the last one is application security groups so application security groups enables you to configure network security as a natural extension of an applications structure allowing you to group virtual machines and define network security policies based on those groups you can reuse your security policy at scale without manual maintenance of explicit ip addresses yeah great that's all for this session guys um, uh, we have covered quite a bit on the network security groups but in case if you need some more information then you can go through these links and clarify your doubts there all right great um, please do subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell icon to get uh, the uh, updates real time and also if you're liking the video then do click on the thumbs up icon all right until next time, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.